<laughs> Good morning. I am clearly struggling. Oh, oh my God. Welcome to my very first live car chat. <laughs> I'm so excited. Now, if you are here, talk to me, please. Please talk to me. chats in the morning these car chats are gonna be inspirational but I think I'm gonna do something like story time at twilight for a little more uh, mature story time anyway inspiration say what you mean mean what you say it is a lesson that I learned the hard way. I'm going to share with you all this lesson. <laughs> that I learned the hard way. <sighs> so, the angel of my life, if you all have kept up with my journaling, may remember me mentioning the angel of my life. So, the angel of my life, her place was a safe space for me. I liked being in her presence. And it didn't hurt that she had children that were my age. Children Her space, her home, was a safe space for me. And I say a safe space because at my home, <laughs> at my home, my mother was there. And my mother was ill. She was mentally ill. And I didn't like being some truth for you. And I didn't like it because she was ill. And my ignorance at that time said to me that you should be able to control your mind. Is your mind, they're your thoughts. You should be able to control them. And I was angry with her that she could not, she would say things that just didn't make any sense. They were true in her mind, but only in her mind. Anyway, she got on my nerves, okay? She got on my nerves. I didn't like being around her. And as much as I could be away from her, I was. And so most of the time, a lot of the time, I spent at the angel of my life, her house. I spent a lot of time in her house. She always made me feel welcome. Always. <clears throat> always. Um, and she never let me go hungry. She let me sit in her presence and be quiet. She spent a lot of time in the kitchen. She was good in the kitchen. Um, and I think she liked feeding people. She liked it. She loved it. I learned so much about the Bible watching her. Oh, my God. I learned so much about faith watching her. Anyway, the angel of my life. I'm sharing all of that. So that you all understand my connection with this woman. Okay? 
So. My brother gave me a car. It was a Ford Maverick, gold and black. Vinyl top. Black vinyl top. Gold car. Ooh, I wore that car out anyway. <laughs> um, her husband used to fix the car. Okay? I could not. I, t I, I was ter I Oh my gosh, I tore that car up. I was hard on that car, okay? Uh, but I wasn't the only one driving the car. He too was hard on the car. And it seemed like every time he drove the car, it came back with a problem. Every time. But he was the mechanic, so he would fix the problem. But I'd had to buy the parts and uh, throw him a few dollars. And I did not have a whole lot of money. I was a young, I was a young person. I, I ain't had no money to keep. Anyway, it was a summer day. I was staying with her. I think I had packed my bags and moved in. I asked her. I asked her if I could come and stay. She said yes, and that was it. That was all I needed. <laughs> and I was out. Anyway, I digress. That's a story for another time. It was a summer day. <laughs> it was. And I was already irritated that every time, every time, I'm not exaggerating, every time he drove that car, it came back with a problem. So, he came back with a problem that day, and I blew up. I was mad as a mother. Shut your mouth. Ooh, I was mad. I was hot. I was on my way upstairs and the angel of my life <laughs> came to me in her soft voice and said, Chris, what's wrong? And in my anger, I said to her, leave me alone. I ain't say it like that. I said it real loud, real strong. Leave me alone. And I heard the air go out of her. And then she said, is that really what you want? Call that a redirect. Because now, I'm, I, I kept going. I kept going. I heard it. I heard the air come out of her. I heard the question. Is that really what you want? And I kept going upstairs. And now, I'm not thinking about the car. I'm not thinking about how mad I am at him. Nope. Now I'm thinking, damn. Okay, inspirational. I'm sorry. No. That is not what I want. So, it took a minute. It took a whole lot longer than it should have. But eventually, I went downstairs in the kitchen where she was. That's where she spent a lot of her time. She was good in there. <laughs> she was good. sit down at the table and I had to say to her no ma'am no ma'am that is not what I want that is never ever what I want from you I am so sorry that I said that to you please please forgive me please forgive me That is not what I want. 
I learned that day. Say what you mean? Mean what you say. If you don't mean it, then doggone it, don't say it. The Bible says it this way. Let your yes be yes, and your no be no. If you say you're going to do something, do it. And if you say you're not going to do it, then doggone it, don't do it. That was a hard lesson to learn, y'all. But I learned it. Do I? Yes, I do. But I'll do better. If I say it, then I mean it. And that's that. So, if you all like this car chat, please comment, share your stories. I want to hear about it, okay? Inspirational stories, lessons that you learned. I learned a lesson, y'all. And if you're smart, <laughs> if you're a young person and you are hearing me, let the hearer hear what this old lady is saying. Okay? Also, I couldn't, um, I wanted to do this on YouTube Live, but I couldn't make it happen. So I'm going to upload this to YouTube. Now look, I already told y'all. <laughs> that I need for you to go to my YouTube channel. I'm about to be up in them YouTube streets. Y'all hear me? <laughs> if you know like I know, you'll start your own YouTube channel and you'll share your own wisdoms and your own stories because you all have stories and experiences and lessons that you have learned and they need to hear it now. Now. So, YouTube. I'm the teacher at 757. Subscribe to the doggone channel. Hit the like button. <laughs> Hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload a, a new video. And I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos talking about a lot of things. But these car chats, these car chats, whew, they're coming straight from the heart. Straight from the heart. Why? Because I love you all to life. I do. I really, 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 really do. I do. Honestly, I do. I'm on my way to work, y'all. A lot of good things going on at work. Okay, I'm not going in. I will not digress. I am going to end this car chat. Anyway, YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Oh, and make some comments. Absolutely comment on YouTube. And please, please, I beg you, share this video. Share it on Facebook. Share it with your friends on Facebook. Share it on your YouTube channel. Share it. Talk about it. You can start. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not doing this. <sighs> I'm digressing. I am getting ready to go. Pull me over here. I'm driving. And I am a safe driver. And I am not going to be playing with this telephone while I am driving. So I pull over. I'm going to pull over.
on the road, put this sucker in park, and again, I'm going to say, <sighs> I love you all to life.